This is Pam and Gilbert from Two Bikes for Adventure. With so many Brompton compatible bags available these days, it can be challenging to decide which bag to purchase. For some people, there's no such thing as too many bags, or too many bicycles for that matter. But most of us have a limited budget and are looking for the one bag to rule them all. To make our decision easier, we could first establish our most likely use case scenarios for that new bag. Let's assume the following criteria. The bag should be large enough to fit a few groceries from the local market. The bag will sometimes be used to commute to work or school, so large enough to safely contain a 15-inch laptop and some extra clothing or paperwork. It should be roomy enough for clothing for an overnight or weekend trip. The contents should be protected from impact and rain. And it should be reasonably priced. With these criteria, the ideal bag size is probably around 20 litres. We compiled a list of commonly available bags in the 20 litre range and their corresponding cost per volume. These are in US dollars. It spans from the Brompton basket bag at $115, or $5 per litre, to the Swiss-made Freitag Coltrain at four times the price. The basket bag has been around almost as long as the Brompton itself and remains a bestseller. It's appropriate for grocery shopping or carrying odd cargo, but because it has no cover, it's less suitable for commuting or weekend adventures, and we'll drop it from our list. The unique style of the fry tag bag could make it a great gift, but its price tag is significant and its size is on the borderline for our intended use, so we'll remove it from the contender list. A fully waterproof bag usually has a higher price tag. Expect to pay $300 or more for a highly weatherproof rated bag. We cannot overemphasize the peace of mind waterproof bags provide while touring, but for daily or weekend trips, a rain cover or a waxed canvas bag like the Caradise City Folder should be sufficient for short showers. And the money saved could be put towards a new saddle or upgraded tires. That leaves us semi-finalists, the Vincita Birch Bag, the Caradise City Folder, the Burrow Roll Top, and the Metro Messenger. While the Burrow Roll Top would be top of the list for touring, the use case scenario we defined previously focuses on daily or weekend trips, so we'll drop it, leaving the last three bags standing as the Birch, the City Folder, and the Metro Messenger. From here on, we'll look at the most cost-effective solution, the Vincita Birch Bag, and see how it satisfies our requirements. The Birch is built around a removable standard S-frame, compatible with all Brompton handlebar types, and is made of 600D polyester. Its design is based on the classic flap over model. Reinforced fabric covers the bottom of the bag and all sides are padded with a five millimeter foam lining. The flap is held in position by a five centimeter buckle and some Velcro strips. The inside is a large main compartment with a well padded laptop divider. The wedge-shaped fold can somewhat reduce the available volume at the top of the bag, a problem common to this type of bag, as can be seen here on the Ortlip O bag. A larger internal volume can be achieved by loosening the front buckle strap. In this case, however, the Velcro closures will no longer align. It boasts three zippered one-liter pockets, two at the front and one at the back. They're well padded with five millimeter foam, which is a feature rarely found in similar bags. A bottle holder is located on the left rear of the bag, which may be handy for a left-handed cyclist. It's rather small and could be overwhelmed by a larger container. The top flap has another zippered compartment. There's also a zipper at the top of the bag that enables quick access to the main compartment without having to unbuckle the main flap. We have to be careful when putting items back through this opening, as a moment of inattention may result in the item slipping out under the flap. A well-padded and removable shoulder strap is provided with the same buckle mechanism as the flap top closure. To improve comfort when carrying the bag off the bike, flip the fabric flap cover over the frame bracket area using the Velcro strip. For cycling, fold it into the frame handle opening. With the S-frame removed, the bag can be slipped onto a luggage trolley handle or carried with a secondary soft handle, although it's somewhat off-center. This feature can be particularly useful when using the bag as carry-on during a bicycle-free business trip or vacation. 
Finally, a unique feature of the birch bag is the removable clothes packing bag. It can be easily inserted and secured in the main compartment using four snaps. It consists of a large mesh compartment and a smaller transparent one, plus various attach points. The compression straps can also be used to hang the bag vertically on a hook for easy access to the contents. This innovative system is a cost-effective alternative to commonly found packing cubes and garment folders. When not required, it can be removed and stored away for the next journey. Using key features we identified in previous videos, let's compare the Vincita Birch against the older Sea Bag and the latest Large Metro Messenger. We will score each feature with zero, half, or one point. While both bags can adjust to a larger load, the length of the front flap and Velcro closing mechanism is more accommodating on the Brompton bag. Both provide similar accessibility. The top zipper on the Birch is an asset, but can also be a liability if used carelessly. The Brompton has zipper pulls, the Birch doesn't. Both provide a light colored interior that facilitates finding small items, a draw. The Brompton shoulder strap is permanently attached, which prevents losing it, but even when neatly tucked at the top of the bag, its padding can interfere with the opening of the main flap. This problem has existed since the second generation sea bag and continues to this day on the messenger. We wonder if a removable strap would not be simpler in spite of the risk of loss. It's too bad that neither option provides an anti-twist solution like some other bags. We eventually gave an extra half point to the Birch for its capability to transform into a non-cycling specific carry-on luggage with its trolley handle capability, bracket cover, and secondary carry handle. Neither of the bags has extra attach points. Both have a laptop divider. The Brompton provides an additional zippered accessories pocket, but it's no match for the versatile Birch clothes packing bag. We give the Birch only an extra half point, as some cyclists may have no use for this feature. When we're cycling, we use the external pockets a lot. Snack, phone, wallet, water bottle, passport, camera, sunscreen are all in our external pockets. The ones provided on the Birch, while well padded, are much smaller than those on the Sea Bag or Messenger. Note that Brompton acknowledged the importance of rear pockets by making them bigger throughout the years although the move from zippers to snaps in the latest version is arguable. Brompton also provides side mesh pockets which are missing on the birch. One full point for the Brompton. A fully waterproof bag would have earned one point. Both these bags provide a rain cover, which is worth half a point. Note that the Brompton flap zipper is water resistant. The Brompton's Cordura 1000D is likely more abrasion resistant than the birch's 600D polyester but Vincita's superior foam padding more than makes up for it. Equal score. Both are reasonably priced, but Vincita has the lead, especially if opting for the older Birch 1.0, which has a slightly cheaper mounting mechanism. Appearance is always open to discussion. The all-black Brompton is never out of fashion, but does lack some flair. Even the older sea bag looked better with its splash of light gray and reflective piping. The Birch overall look and color palette gains at half a point. In our comparison, each factor is only worth one point, but your decision matrix may weigh some features more highly, such as external pockets and price. We do have a few items on our wish list for a possible Birch 3.0. As mentioned earlier, larger external pockets, particularly at the rear. Potential side mesh pockets, a larger front flap pocket, even if it means removing the top access zipper. Relocate upward or even remove the front Velcro straps as they're ineffective as soon as the bag is filled over 50%. We wish to thank Vincita for providing the birch bag for our honest evaluation. We hope your Brompton front carrier block can easily transform into a launch pad for a new set of adventures. The only thing that you need to add to the right bag is some imagination. <laughs>